Welcome back to my channel and today is Friday again so I have a new foundation Friday for you. So today I'm reviewing the Nourish Sheer Glow foundation and they also sent me some concealers and a powder. So I want to put it all in one even though it's a foundation Friday. I think you guys will definitely love to see more products than just the foundation. So if you're excited about this video then please give it a thumbs up already and let's get right into it. So as always I will put all the information in the screen and I also primed with my usual primers so it doesn't disturb the foundation and my thoughts about it. So I have already tried the concealers, I have not tried the foundation and the powder. Also it's good to know that I never apply my foundation with a brush, so I'm only going to apply it with a sponge because that is how I like to apply foundation. That is just the first thing I wanted to say. This is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. I have the shade Light One Siberia. So the foundation does not have a pump, which is... I mean, the foundation is pretty expensive. I'm just gonna take my sponge and my foundation. So I'm just gonna put my finger on it and then shake and just apply it like that, I think. So I just dotted the foundation all over my face. Um, I know it's a sheer coverage, so I applied a little bit more. I also feel like the consistency is pretty watery, so um, I think it will definitely need to go in with a second layer, but this is what I applied for the first layer. I have no idea how many pumps this will be because of course it doesn't have a pump, but I'm just gonna use my Morphe sponge and blend everything in. So the foundation blends in really, really pretty because it's a very thin consistency. I don't really know what the finish is like. Um, it looks very, very skin-like. It's not really matte and it's also not satin or anything. It's just right in between. But definitely around this area, I can see that the coverage is pretty sheer. But for my forehead, I really, really like it because I don't need a lot of coverage over there. Um, so I'm just gonna spot apply a second layer. And shape-wise, I think it's a pretty good match, but it's a little bit light. So further on in the winter, this will definitely be a very good shape for me. Okay, so that definitely gave me a little bit more coverage. But it's still not... I, think, I don't think it will ever be full coverage. So I'm just gonna go in with some concealer and cover up any spots I have left. So I have both the Soft Matte Complete Concealer and the Radiant Creamy Concealer. So I'm just taking a brush for this concealer, the Soft Matte one. And I just want to apply it over any spots. And by the way, I'm using the shade Light One Gently. The Soft Matte one definitely gives a little bit more uh, coverage. So I'm going to apply that on any spots, also a little bit underneath the eyes. Now taking the Radiant Creamy one and just applying a little bit underneath the eyes. And this is the same shade. Radiant Creamy is more creamy and also has a little bit less um, coverage. But I'm just going to apply a tiny little bit underneath the eyes so that everything looks nice and dewy. So I've used this concealer before and I really, really like the combination of the two. Also for underneath the eyes because it's definitely more hydrating than the Tarte Shape Tape. Um, it also gives very good coverage and on any spots it also looks pretty good. It still is not really full, full coverage but I'm fine with this coverage for today. So now I'm just gonna apply my cream contour and then come right back with the powder. So now I've done that, I'm gonna take my clean side of my beauty blender and I'm just gonna swipe away any creases. Taking my powder and this is the Soft Velvet Loose Powder in the shade Snow. I think the powder is pretty good. It is very, very finely milled and also the color is a perfect match for me. It is a little bit lighter than my skin tone, so it's really nice to lighten up certain areas. Um, I do have to say, I can't really compare it with my Laura Mercier powder because it's not really as dense as it, but I do really, really like this powder. 
Also taking a little bit on my brush and set the rest of my face. I'm also gonna swipe away any baking powder, but I'm leaving it underneath the eyes because I'm gonna do a eye look right now. So I'm quickly going to do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back with the final verdict. And this is the final look. I really think the foundation looks so good on my skin. It looks really like skin, actually. Um, I do feel like it's better for people that don't want to wear too much coverage. The concealers are so good. The powder is really, really good too. So I definitely recommend all of them. And that is actually it. Thank you so much for watching. Please thumbs up this video. And if you enjoyed this, then also subscribe to my channel. I really want to thank you for watching. I love you and I will see you next week in a new video. Bye!